so hinky. The sequel to Payday, The Heist, Payday 2, looks to expand on all the intense action that made the original game great with all new missions, weapons, gadgets, and robbery scenarios. So will this intense heist shooter have you feeling like De Niro in the movie Heat, or will the only smash and grab happening be you taking a hammer to your console, or PC, or whatever? Let's find out. Okay, let's do this one. Payday 2 sees the same criminal maniacs from the original game come back to life with even goofier masks and way more equipment. There isn't much story to speak of here, but in a purely multiplayer game it's to be expected. You get all of your missions from some guy named Bane and each one is explained briefly before you embark on whatever nefarious deed you're going to be doing. Your criminal activity will range from robbing a bank to a smash and grab in a mall to cooking crystal meth and each mission is a blast for its own reasons. I don't remember a heavy stealth element in the first Payday, but in this iteration there's a decent emphasis placed on it in specific missions. Don't get me wrong, in the cocaine transport mission it literally starts with your truck being attacked by the police, but in specific instances you can complete missions without alerting the police at all if you're careful, and doing so is pretty exciting. When you do alert the police, the missions become infinitely more difficult and plotting, but blasting away through waves of police and SWAT teams is still really fun. Like in the first one, random elements keep things interesting, like where your objective drops will be and where certain NPCs are located, and it really does help the replay value considering there are only about 10 different missions to choose from. While Payday is a multiplayer game, you can choose to play offline with AI teammates, though I'd urge strongly against it. This was where my biggest problem with Payday 2 was. A mission that should be extremely easy becomes insanely difficult because while your AI counterparts will shoot enemies and revive you if you're down, they won't offer you any tactical advantages human players would, like using equipment or attempting to help at all with objectives. That being said, online play is the way to go, and while AI is a problem, you should know going in that playing with other human players is really the only way to get the full experience of Payday 2. There are a decent number of unlocks in Payday 2, from mass customization to new weaponry and gun attachments, but unlocking them can be a bit tedious. Gun attachments are especially hard to come by, as the only way to unlock them is via dumb luck in a post-mission minigame, but this was only a minor annoyance. The class system is also different. In Payday 2, you level up classes in four distinct trees, Mastermind, Enforcer, Technician, and Ghost. While there definitely is some crossover, and you usually end up at least slightly leveling up other trees, it pays to have balance, and depending on your class, you'll get access to different equipment that can help in various ways throughout a mission, as well as buffing things you start out with, like the speed at which your drill drills through locks, for example. Payday 2's strongest suit, though, is just a whole lot of fun. Whether you're sneaking through an art gallery to steal paintings or shooting it out heat-style with cops in the streets, the missions the game starts with provide a good variety of action, and the random elements keep things refreshing. If you like the first one, you'll definitely love this one. Ultimately, Payday 2 is a great sequel to the original. With more heists to sink your teeth into and a more in-depth class system, there's never been more of an emphasis on planning and teamwork, and you'll find yourself playing this game for hours on end. While the AI is a bit questionable at times and you'll encounter the odd bug here and there, like an officer clipping through a wall, Payday 2 offers more than enough fun to warrant the purchase, though I'd imagine that it might get a bit old if you're playing it non-stop. Unfortunately, I don't feel like I've played this game enough to give it a fair score, so I'll leave it at this. It's a very good game, though I'm not sure how long it stays fresh. For more reviews and video game nonsense, be sure to subscribe right here to Smosh Games. And for more of me, you can check out my channel at youtube.com slash Sohinky or on Twitter at Sohinky. I'll see you guys next time.